had a really fascinating session by a brilliant inventor called Pablos Holman, who's in the US and the West Coast. So it was, it was titled uh, Hacking the Future. And uh, the issue was not just hacking as we understand it normally to mean security and cyber security. But he was talking, he's quite engaged in building the future with technology. And the central message that was coming, of course, is that now computers are finding their way into each and every thing that we deal with, every object we deal with. Uh, you know, with IoT, it's going into every physical device or door or window or car or whatever. And the argument he was building is that we truly uh, underestimate the risks lying there on cyber security because people are using these chips are worried about the main thing they are doing. So if someone is using a machine, their focus is the machine, not the chip, which is connecting it to the internet or whatever. So the vulnerability being created with the advancement of technology are gigantic and increasing every day. So on one side, there's a whole question of hacking the future, which is using technologies to new, build new things, and he had fascinating examples. But on the other, I think the underlying message was that in every new thing where we use technology, we are underestimating or we are oblivious to the risks which are being created because of the connectivity and the fact there's a computing device and there's some software on it. And that we need to be mindful that whenever you put a new use, uh, or put some new technology into new use, then we have to be really careful that we factored in the issue of cyber or security. And frankly, we were posing questions in the end to say, okay, now is this threat a huge opportunity for India? Because the cybersecurity uh, focus that NASCOM has been giving for the last couple of years was not just to say, how do we defend ourselves? It was to say that it's an unsolved problem for the world. There is a huge opportunity. And as against about two and a half to three billion dollars of size, which is the size of the cyber security piece in the IT services pie, by 2025, we want to take it to 30 billion. So it's a big jump, big opportunity, and people like this actually create triggers for people to think about security interestingly.